To create a reactive audio spectrum effect, you first just want to grab some music and place that onto your composition. Then we'll just select this drop down arrow, press audio and waveform. So this is a visual representation of our music. So feel free to move this around to get to the point in the music that you want. Then we'll go layer new solid, change this to a black solid, press OK. And then in effects and presets, we're going to search for audio and you want to drop audio spectrum, not waveform onto the black solid. Then we'll change the audio layer to the track. We can move the start point and the end point if we want to, or alternatively, we can just create a mask. So if we go to the ellipse tool, I'm going to hold shift down on the keyboard and just draw a circle mask. Then I'm going to turn on the proportional grid and place that in the very center. Then from there, you can go into the audio spectrum effect, select path and select mask one. And now it will follow that circle mask. Now we can adjust the start frequency and the end frequency. But before we do that, I'm just going to increase the frequency bands until we get a solid audio spectrum like this. Now you notice at the moment we're getting a little bit of cut off here and that is because of the mask. So if we now select black solid again, zoom out and create an even bigger mask, you'll now see that's included again. So now you can adjust the start frequency and the end frequency to include or remove specific frequencies. You can increase the maximum height to make this bigger. So if we go to a waveform, let's go to this one. If we increase maximum height, you can see we can make that really big. We can also change the thickness of the lines. We can pull the softness down or up depending on what we're going for, but I'll keep that at zero. And then if we go down to side options, you can see we can have this just on the inside. We can have that just on the outside. Or we can have that on both. Now ignore this inside outside color because from here I'm going to go into effects and presets, search for ramp, drop gradient ramp onto the audio spectrum layer. We're going to change the start color to a specific color. So let's go for a nice purple and the end color. We're going to go for a blue. So we're creating a nice gradient and we can change the start of ramp position to the top left and the end of ramp to be the bottom right. This does look a little bit dark for my liking though, so I am just going to make that brighter. And of course, if this is too big for you, then feel free to change that mask. So if you go into the mask, you can actually just change this and make this smaller or larger depending on what your needs are. Or alternatively, you can just select the solid, select the ellipse mask again, create a small circle, and then just change the path on the audio spectrum to that newly created mask. And that is how you create an audio spectrum inside of Adobe After Effects.